Hello everyone, we were doing the SolidWorks training and in the basic course we were doing the creating parts module and we started the extruded boss command. So today we'll be doing the revolved boss command. So let's start. So we will start with the sketch. Let's select any plane and start with the sketch on it. So let's just select this rectangle and make a rectangle here like this. So if you want to make a solid you need to have a closed shape like this here. So in the revolve boss we need um, an axis around which we want to revolve our body. So I selected this as an um, axis and this is the result. So this is how it looks like. Let's say we edit this command and we can also provide different angles here. So you can also drag it like this and you can end it where you want and or you can manually provide the angle. So you can also use the direction too and you can provide the provide the angle here for the revolved in the other direction. So this is how it works. It is very basic. So if you want to make a thin body out of it, you can just select this line which we selected as an axis and convert it into for construction. Exit the sketch and go into revolve boss. Select this axis again. It will ask would you want to close this sketch. It is open. You can just select it. No. And now it will make this thin body instead. So you can change the, thick, change the thickness of this or you can select, select mid plane or two directions. Play around with these options here. So uh, if I take a section cut here, this is a, a hollow body from inside. So there are also other options in this revolved like up to surface, offset from surface and mid plane. So we will now see these options. Let's say you have a you have a solid body here and you you make a sketch on that solid body and if I now select the revolve boss command and provide this sketch now it will ask for the axis or revolution I will select this edge so if I now select this up to surface I can provide this surface and as you can see it has made a solid body which is ending on that surface let's say if I select offset from surface sorry so now I can provide different distances here and change the shape and so this so this is the distance between this face and this face okay so this is the up to surface and offset from surface Let's say if you want to make a thin feature, you can just select that thin feature and it will make a thin feature here. Like this. So I have applied this chamfer here and let's say if I now select this sketch and revolve the same axis. Now if I select the up to vertex option. If I select this vertex, it will it will make a revolved boss which will be ending just on a, on that vertex. Let's say if I change this vertex to this, now this will end this revolved boss and on this vertex. So this is okay. You how you can use this vertex and up to surface command. So let's say if you want to use this mid plane command. So this is very simple. You can just select this mid plane here and so what this what it does is whatever angle you provide it will it will take this sketch as a center and it will make an and make it revolve with an angle with total of 50 degree and which will be equally divided from this central sketch. And this concludes our today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Take care.